the largest rummage sale in the world. Not really, but it is a big sale and I am off to the three for a dollar tent because we are gonna see if we can find any deals hidden amongst the boxes. So I'm waiting at the three for a dollar tent. There's some outside, well outside over there and then inside. I can usually find some good things in here and it is way less stressful than inside where they've probably taken all the really good stuff. <laughs> This whole entire table, all the way down, is VHS tapes. That's a no. So we'll see what treasures we can find here, and then I'll venture to the other tents at a nice leisurely pace. People are shopping in housewares. Disneyland, come to me. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's a Mickey towel. We'll take you. Look of it, very mid century modern. These are cute. Too. Guess if you need a mug, this is where to go because they have a lot of them. Disney, Ray Dan, Piggy. Craft tent. There's also an inside, which I haven't even gone to yet. We need fake flowers. This is where to come. Little pinatas. They're cute. Oh. What are you guys doing in there? Oh yeah, I get them. There's a whole bunch of cute stuff in there for a dollar. Oh, tissue paper. That's a good deal. How much is that? 25 cents? Is that? No, it's a dollar. It was 25 cents at the original yard sale. Last hook. Oh man. Dollar for that? It's tempting. It's very tempting. 
not like I don't have fabric at home, because you know, <laughs> I don't have any. What's this one? Not in their vintage section or something. That's $5 for that. Yeah. She's really cute. This is like a homemade project. Put you up front, so. Oh, she's cute too. He's cute. He's three dollars. Oh my gosh, I have this. Oh my gosh. I should buy her just because it brings back memories. I think I still have mine at home. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, he's nice. This is so old, it says it was made in West Germany. It's pre-1989 there. That's a cool. That's my dishes. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, $20 for that. Oh, that poodle's cute. It looks like the monkey. I'm gonna buy all this other stuff. Oh, what is that one? I thought it was an animal dress or something. It's a fake Hummel. I want the fake Hummels in there. Another successful rummage sale in the books. Some great prices. I didn't pick up a whole bunch of stuff, but what I did purchase, I'm happy with, and I think that I'll be able to recoup some of my money as well. So what did we get? Well, because why not? We got some fabric packets. Now you could not open these. They were all stapled shut, which is fine. It prevents people from kind of opening and making a mess. So I got a bunch of those. Uh, let's see. So yeah, more fabric. Continuing in the fabric world, I picked up some vintage children's clothing. These are so adorable. So this is like a big jumper, a onesie, which was my size. There was one really cute one. This is really cute. It's a little shirt with the little ladybugs and they're fishing. 
why can't this be my size? Why couldn't I find a whole roll of that fabric? So you can see how much it was worn by the, the fading. I found a vintage Disney, Walt Disney World beach towel. I love bringing these when I go to Disney and I stay at Pop Century because it adds just a touch of vintage when you're hanging out at the bowling pin pool. But you have the Huey, Dewey, and Louie, you have Goofy, Mickey. I saw the tag and I was like, oh, I know that's something good. Not sure what the worth of that is, but I'm going to keep it because it cost me uh, a little over a quarter. What, 33 cents? Lots of Raggedy Ann and Andy stuff in the toy section. We found this, I'm guessing it's a pillowcase. Love one another. Holly Land. Holy Land. New from the Holy Land? A plastic tablecloth with Santa? I never realized it said Holy Land. No, it's Holly. No, it's Holy. Holy Land. Renee, Holy Land. Other Christmas items. We got this little satchel made from old Christmas cards. Usually you see these kind of, they're almost like a bowl shape. This one has a little damage. Oh, you could put um, bottle brush trees in there. We got some other fabrics. I think the most interesting items that I found though were the mixed bags of jewelry. I also bought this. It's another like grab bag lot. Well, looks like it has keychains. The reason I bought it was because of the pipe cleaner little heads and then you have all these little charms. So I'll have to open up those. We got this bag of jewelry for $3. I bought it because of the pins. I have no idea what pins are in there. Again, it's sealed shut. Can't open it. But the best bag that I found was this bag this looks like it's all mac items and this was five dollars but it's all mac pins and i don't know what that is another belt buckle so i think we're gonna do a little video where i do some grab bag opening and see at least what the pins are and what the mac stuff were mac can be i mean how many mac bulldog pins does one need we're gonna find out so a great sale, well organized, prices were decent. I mean, three for a dollar at the bargain tent, you can't beat that. And you can find some really good stuff in there. So we got more fabric, some little goodie bags to go through, and some vintage Disney. Sounds like a good sale to me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Not sure if there are going to be any more rummage sales the rest of the summer. Summer, well, summer is here. The first day of summer has come and gone and we are in 60 degree weather. Feels like fall, but anyway, not sure how many other rummage sales there will be. Might have to wait until fall, but there's always a flea market, estate sales, and all the other good treasure hunting to go, places to go to until then. So if you're going out and about to your rummage sale, I wish you success in your digging. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moon.